Hi, my name is Alexandra Morton and I'm an independent biologist. I don't work for anybody. I've been fighting salmon farms for 30 years because they came into the place I was living. And uh, I fight very closely with First Nations. Um, I've been named Guayamzi and I feel very strongly that First Nation leadership, it's time. Because the big difference between First Nations and other people, in my view, I mean, there's many differences, but the big difference is First Nations aren't planning to leave. <clears throat> They're not going to leave that valley, that river, that mountain. And so they want that place to be good. Whereas the rest of us, we've moved around, we're nomadic, and we don't have those tight bonds. With what I heard today, um, I really want to say to people, don't wait to organize into one big group ever. The problem with big groups is they, they capture the leader and then you know everybody has to follow. And so what I believe in is that we all have to be like a herd of wild horses where we're all under our own steam. Uh, it's a bit inefficient and we're kicking and nipping at each other, but we're all going in the same direction. And if one of them gets persuaded to do something, the rest of us keep going. So I've been part of big coalitions before and I just don't believe in them. I don't think they work. I think that you need to do this on a individual basis, but I think on the other hand that when somebody puts out the call, you try to go. And so when the Oxlip band phoned me and asked me to go to Mount Polly, I went. And when I do something, they come. It's, it's very important to be good allies, but I think we need to run independently under our own fuel source so that we cannot be corrupted, we cannot be captured and and pulled off track. Ah.